Praise the Lord and welcome to our daily bread. Uh, this is our short daily 10 minute devotional time that we plan to share with you uh, Monday through Friday. And occasionally, if the Lord should open the door or lay something upon my heart, we may share something with you on Saturday and or Sunday as well. Uh, but we're going to try real hard to post a daily bread video devotional every morning to the website. And uh, I hope that you'll be blessed by it. The word of the Lord reads in Acts chapter 2, verses number 17 and 18. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. You know, I want you to understand, if you don't understand anything else today, I want you to understand that God has promised to move in a mighty way in the last days. He has promised to pour out of His Spirit, by His Spirit, upon all flesh. He doesn't give any uh, limitations. He does not state any requirements. He doesn't say, I will pour out upon white folks, or I will pour out upon black folks, or I'll pour out upon this segment of society or this segment of the church but rather he states i will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and i want you to understand today my friend no matter who you are no matter where you're coming from no matter what your experience yesterday i want you to understand that you qualify for this blessing. You qualify for this move of God. You qualify to be a part of what God is wanting to do in these last days because all God needs to use is someone that's living and breathing. Amen. If you've got life in your body, you're qualified to be used of God and to receive from Him. There are many churches that like to put all kinds of requirements and limitations upon people. They create rules and bylaws and laws, and they stack them, you know, piles high, telling people that if you're going to be a child of God, if you're going to be a servant of the Lord, that you've got to do this and this and this and this and this. But the reality today is if you are living and breathing, you're qualified for God to use you. And the Lord wants very much today for you and I to understand that He has promised in the last days to pour out of His Spirit upon the Word of the Lord says, Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You know, many of us have Christian parents and many of us have parents and family that look down at us and they look critically at us and they want to judge and condemn because they don't understand our issues and they're not trying to understand our issues either. But they look and they judge and they criticize. But you know something? When the Spirit of God begins to move and you let Him move in your life and you allow Him to bless you and help you and strengthen you and lead you, I'm here to tell you, my friend, one day you'll be able to look at those judgmental, critical folks and say, hey, God promised that he'd move on your sons and your daughters, and I'm your son, I'm your daughter, and God is doing as he promised he would do. Hallelujah. You may put limitations on me. You may put requirements on me, but God has said that I am acceptable to him. How do I know? Because he's moving in my life. He's leading me. He's guiding me day by day. His spirit is flowing in mine, and I feel his presence day by day. My friend, I want to encourage you today to understand this way we call faith is as real as real can possibly be. Like the old song we used to sing in the church, it's real, it's real. Praise God, I know it's real. It's that Pentecostal blessing, and I know, I know it's real. 
God has promised in the last days that he would pour out of his spirit upon all flesh. You qualify for that. I'm going to tell you a little secret, something many churches uh, kind of get backwards. A lot of churches want to tell you today that you've got to fix this and fix that and do this and do that so that God can begin to move in your life and the Holy Ghost can begin to operate in your life. And they'll tell you, well, when you get all this together, then God will begin to move. Then the Spirit of the Lord will come in and begin to do things in your life. And I want to set correct today that false teaching. The reality today is this. If you'll let God into your life, if you'll let the Lord begin to move in your life today, then all these other things will fall by the wayside. Amen. I want you to understand, you don't have to give anything up to receive the Holy Ghost. What you need to do is receive the Holy Ghost, and you'll find that you've given things up. Amen. You don't have to lay things down to receive the Holy Ghost. What you need to do is receive the Holy Ghost, and in so doing, you'll find that you're laying things down. Amen. The presence of God in our lives brings massive, enormous change. And many people want us to believe that we're supposed to uh, embark upon all this change and we're supposed to make all these changes in our life so that the Holy Ghost can come in and the Spirit of God can enter in and begin to operate in us and through us. But I'm here to tell you today, all you need to do, according to the Word of God, is make yourself available to Him. Surrender to Him. Allow the Spirit of the Lord to lead you and guide you. I promise you, He'll only bring you to the best of places. Amen. The Lord won't lead you anywhere that's going to destroy your soul. And I promise you today that as you begin to allow God's great presence back into your life, that you'll find that things begin to change in the most positive of ways. And you'll see that, you know, like the old song says, places I used to go, I don't go there anymore. Things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. Things I used to say, I don't say them anymore. There's a great change since I'm reborn. You know, Lost and Found Online Fellowship exists as a uh, outreach ministry of the one church here in the Dallas area and uh, we have a, a ministry a burden a burning desire to reach out to people who have set aside their faith many who have lost hope and given up any semblance of faith many today in the GLBT communities have traded in their faith in a living, risen Christ for something different and something new because other religions and other ways offer, in their mind anyway, a more accepting and a more affirming path. But I want you to understand, my friend, today, not everything that is said in the name of God is being spoken by God. Not everything that is spoken by the Church of God is spoken by the God of the church. Please understand today that God wants you. He wants your fellowship. He wants your communion. He wants your love. He wants you to walk with Him. He wants you to have confidence in Him. He's a miracle-working God, and He wants to perform miracles in your life if only you will let Him. And God cannot work outside of the realms of faith we have to believe first, and then we will see. Many people say, like Doubting Thomas, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, the problem is that's not how faith works. You don't believe, uh, you don't see it first and then believe. You believe it first, and then you'll see. And I want to close with this thought this morning. God wants you to reach out to Him today. He's promised to pour His Spirit out upon all flesh. And my friend, you qualify. So today, right now, where you sit, in the name of Jesus, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Allow the Spirit of the Lord right now, today, to begin to lead you and guide you into all truth. Let Him 
help you into a deeper walk with himself. This is my prayer in Jesus' name.